the next step, the final step that I would like to do, well, two more final steps. I want to create a fade out over the, that last little bit. I sort of have those strange little sound effects. I sort of want the fade out to go out on that. So I'm going to do some automation with the master fader. And, uh, but before I do that, I want, to, uh, I want to work with this mastering suite. This is on the insert effects. So I'm going to... I'm going to go through and just engage that. And uh, we'll go to Edit Inserts. And there we'll have the full mastering suite. And we'll start over at the very beginning of our song. So we can use this just to thicken things up a little bit. Really, I'm just using the maximizer. So let's talk about a maximizer. What is a maximizer? A maximizer is a limiter. It's a loudness limiter. What's a limiter? A limiter is just like a compressor, except it has a really high ratio. So instead of it compressing your louder sounds softer and your softer sounds louder, it tends to have this brick wall that the sound can't go past and it brings up the lower portion. So it basically changes the overall perception of loudness of your tracks, allows us to get a bigger sound but without ever going over into the red. So it tames your peaks a little bit. So you can push it a little bit and get more gain out of it, which is what we're doing right here. So I'm not going to use any of these other, we don't need any EQ. I've already done that with each of the individual tracks. So I didn't even have to create this whole mastering suite. I'm just really trying to utilize this uh, effect here. Now another option that we can look at is uh, using the compressor. We may want to have the compressor before the inserts. So what I'm looking for is the insert section. And it says signal path, insert, pre-compressor or post-compressor. So if I hit it pre-compressor, that means it's going to hit the maximizer first and then the compressor. No, I want the stereo bus compressor and then I want it to hit going out. And again, I just want small amounts. I'm doing this because I really enjoy the sound of the SSL stereo bus compressor. A lot of people, you can buy these in hardware units. You know, they're rack mountable units and they cost thousands of dollars. But they sound awesome. So another thing to keep your eye on when you're sort of mixing this, you'll notice these are going into the red, but as long as I'm not going to the red on my audio outputs, I'm not actually clipping my converters. Uh, it's okay if it dances in the red a little bit. This is, it is digital, but it's supposed to be emulating analog. As long as we're not clipping in the red here, we know we're all right in terms of our physical outputs. So far, so good, everything looks all right. 